silent auction items, and then we'll have some, uh, a couple of live auction items later. That all goes to help Annetta to take care of what she needs to take care of. So please take a look at those while you're going through the evening. We have lots of artists performing tonight, so we're going to get started in just a minute. But first, I would like to bring to the stage a gentleman that was brought to Nashville, Tennessee by none other than Mr. Leon Russell. He has spent quite a bit of time on the road with the likes of Bob Dylan and John Fogarty and Dixie Chicks, and he uh, spends quite a bit of time with Mr. Delbert McClinton. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr. Bob Brett. Well, howdy. Uh, you all know how much I love to talk. <laughs> Thank you all so much for loving my wife. I love my wife dearly, and uh, I'm so glad that uh, everybody has come out to support her. Um, you all know that I've been through it twice, and uh, so I know what it's like, and it's, it's, you know, the whole chemo thing just sucks. And uh, she handled it. Really well, other than the first night, she had a really, really hard time. But uh, so she just had surgery Monday, so she can't be here. I didn't think I'd be here, uh, but she had a good friend come and sit with her. She's watching. Hi, honey. And uh, she wrote a little uh, something for me to read to you. So this is from Etta. It says, hello, everyone. I so wish I could be there with you, but my surgery was just this past Monday, so it's too soon. So I wanted to write you a little something. Uh, I want to say thank you to all of you who came out and also those watching at home. I'm very appreciative, as is Bob. I especially want to thank Gina Hughes, Cheryl Walco, our daughters Hannah and Bonnie, and my best friend Angie Perkins for organizing this awesome night. I know you guys hit a lot of bumpy roads trying to get this night together, but you would not give up, and I love you for it. To the artists and house band, I'm overwhelmed by your willingness to come and give of your time and talent. I'm honored to call you friends. To everyone who donated items for the auction and VIP bags, you're amazing, and I am grateful. Would he ignore you, Rock? Thank you, dear friend. I'm on the backside of this journey but it isn't over and I have several months to go. Uh, but your love and prayers have gotten me this far and I know they will get me to the end. Bob and I thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your generosity and love you all very much. Sent from my iPhone. <laughs> and... Uh, that's true. We're, we're very appreciative, thankful. We love you all. Uh, people, we've had people praying for her all over the world, and we feel it. I, I know when I went through it, I had, I had the same thing, people praying for me, and I physically could feel it. And so please keep your prayers coming, and uh, let's get on with the show. Bob Brett. Ladies and gentlemen. All right, well, it's time for our first artist of the night, a gentleman that many of you, I believe, know. And by the way, we're all Brits tonight. We're all family. So you're honorary Brits tonight, and we're all just in this together. We've got a wonderful evening of, of performers lined up, but we're going to get things kicked off with a gentleman who has won multiple BMA Country Songs of the Year. His uh, Tanya Tucker, Delbert McClinton, Tosh Mahal, Trisha Yearwood, Alan Jackson, and many, many more have recorded his compositions. He has been well known in the, in the scene in Nashville, having done a ton of work over years in the, uh, in the clubs and toured all over the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr. Pat McLaughlin. one you know uh, when Etta smiles at me I don't know if she really likes me or which which one of these dang plugs am I going to plug in um, 
I don't know if she really likes me or she just realizes I'm the biggest buffoon in the room and I don't know it. I just can't figure Etta out at all. But uh, I tell you, a very few uh, couples, Bob and Etta, and have I uh, have I personally just gotten so much out of knowing and uh, couple songs I'm going to do this song Joni Mitchell wrote so I make sure I do at least one really good song <laughs> I met you on a midway at a fair Stood out like a ruby in a black man's ear. You were playing on the horses. You were playing on the guitar strings. You were playing like a devil. Followed with a sideshow to another town. And I found you in a trailer on the camping ground. You were betting on some lover. You were shaking up. Once or twice I heard you be Once or twice Were you wondering Was your gamble Worth the price Pack it in I heard you did Pack it in Was it hard to fold a hand that you knew could win? So lately you've been hiding It was somewhere in the news I'm still at these races with my ticket subs and my blues And a voice calls out the number And he sometimes mentions mine And I feel like I've been working Overtime Overtime I've lost my fire Overtime Always playing one more hand for one more dime. 
Slowing down, I'm getting tired. Slowing down. And I've in me you the valley that you found. And I'm midway on the midway. Slowing down. Down. Thank you all. I'm going to get the fine band up here. Oh, man. I just see you had a, what's he doing? Joni Mitchell song. Oh, man. Can I yank this? As you can see, I do a lot of public speaking in my line of work. You know, one time I did a gig in Greenville, Mississippi with Bob. He rode with me. And uh, Bob's from Iowa. I'm from Iowa. And uh, we got to talking because we had quite a bit of time to talk. And... Uh, um, we decided, uh, well, I figured out talking to Bob that he likes to have, make a milkshake in a bowl. Get ice cream, chocolate sauce, and then add milk and just wait around a little bit and kind of work it into a milkshake. And you got a milkshake in a bowl. <laughs> then uh, then uh, after another few hours, I thought, what are you talking about? <laughs> where he went to church. And I thought, damn, this guy's something else. I'm going to his church. I'm going to see if I can get some of that action down here. <laughs> and, uh, and it was amazing, you know? How many people, you know, you ride around with go, God dang, where's that guy go to church? I'm going to go to church down there, too. This is this is where this is where it gets interesting. I uh, come up with a song the other day, and and at the same time they were asking me to commit to songs and uh, to play, so we get it charted. And I'd just written this song, and it's got a it's got a ton of uh, a ton of uh, Norwegians in it. I mean. Uh, Fjords, I mean uh, chords. It's got a lot of chords in it, and uh, I really appreciate it. If they know these chords, it's going to be unbelievable. I barely know the damn things myself. I played every chord, every chord I could think of. I put it in this song, and uh, I played with John Prine a lot over the years, and that's what he did on "Hello" in there. So I figure, you know, that's a good way to go. Just play every chord you can figure out how to play. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. Yeah, 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 fellas. Let's just do that little signature thing where we do the C, D, E thing just over and over again so we get our groove. You see that thing on there? And uh, we'll just do that, and then we'll go on into the song. How you doing?
nothing but a guitar. I spent my share of riches down in those highway ditches. Lord knows I closed many a bar. He still held just knowing if I got the urge for going without your love. I won't get very far Without your love Without your love I'm just one more Lightning bug in a jar y'all but I, count, I lost count at about 14 chords <laughs> so am I the loudest guy in the band is that how it is I ain't too bad oh yeah I ain't gonna do that
Thank you very much. It's a pleasure being here. Love you, Adam. You too, Bobby. That was Pat McLaughlin, everybody. This mic and I have been apart from each other for about a year now, so I, I'm feeling a little animosity right now. So we're just going to try and work through it. How about that? Pat McLaughlin. You know, he mentioned John Prine, and I very much forgot to mention the fact that Pat McLaughlin wrote Summer's End with Pat John Prine, which is my just such a big part of the past year. I just love that song. So well done, Pat. All right, so we did mention the uh, auction, so keep that in mind. I think Angie's going to grab something from the, uh, from the auction items to share with you, but a few things we want to let you know about while we're at it. The fine ladies of Kentucky Thunder, who we all know and love, have put together a signed and framed poster, and that is in the back back there. Also, uh, Seth Walker has a gift box who we'll be hearing from here in a little bit. So we're really excited about that. All right? Very good. Very good. You know, it's funny living in Music City when something happens to somebody, and we've had a lot of somethings happen in the past 12 months. Um, we do two things. We bring food and we throw benefits because we have so many friends that can play music and that we're around music and it's just a wonderful thing to do. And it was late March that on this very stage we had put together a night at the Twist and Shout. 20 artists to support her uh, tornado relief. And that was the first show get canceled due to the pandemic. Wah, wah, wah. But anyway, very happy to be back. It's been a long time. And uh, happy to be back. I'm glad all of y'all are here. My name is Whit Hubner. This is a night for Etta Britt. And these gentlemen behind me, their family, literally and figuratively. And uh, they're going to play a little uh, old timey music for you. Yeah. Do a little old timey. Y'all want a little old timey? Yeah. All right. Y'all ready? Good to see you, man. Yeah. Let's go. This is the Howlin' Brothers, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. 
That's good. That's good. Hey, hey, all right. Hey, it's our pleasure to be here with you all. Thank you so much for coming out, supporting my wonderful mother-in-law. We know she's watching and, and so happy that everybody's here. All right, here's a song that I know that she likes. So uh, sing along at home, Etta. Big time? Gonna take it down south at real big time. <laughs> Gonna 
Oh yeah, thank you very much. We're going to do you some of that old timey music uh, Wick was talking about. This is our, uh, this is our, 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 our old bass player. He's been playing back with us for quite some time now. Uh, give it up for Ben Class here. Thank you. He's gonna sing, sing the lead on this one. Great song called The Boatman Dance. Guys, uh, this one goes out to Etta. We love you, Etta. If you're out there watching, I know you're out there watching. We love you, and we know you. We know you're gonna beat this thing, and uh, and we love you. That's all I got to say. Is I love you. Yeah. We played this one down at uh, Arrington Vineyards over the summer, and Etta was there. Etta and Bob came out, and uh, Hannah and the girls all came out. And, um, I think Etta really liked this one, so I'm gonna send this one out to you, Etta. You guys can sing along on this last one we're gonna sing. It's called Amen. I think it's a perfect one for tonight. Side is my daddy talk about singing in the sunshine and the 
so much. We love you out of Britain. Yeah. Let's hear it for the Howlin' Brothers, ladies and gentlemen. Getting a little old Tommy up in here. Gotta love it. All right, in case I haven't mentioned it, yes, we do have an auction going on, and yes, I did mention that the Kentucky Thunder ladies have a uh, signed print back there that you can bid on. But they also did something else to commemorate the event, and I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna roll that now, shall we? Let's roll that. Is 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 Mr. Soundman? Are you rolling that? Who's rolling that? Somebody rolling that? Awesome. Well, we're gonna roll that as soon as somebody waves at me and says we're rolling it. <laughs> we're doing it right now. All right, we're trying to keep COVID safe. See, we're wiping down all the uh, all the microphones, and everybody's wearing masks when it's appropriate, and. Appreciate y'all doing that when you move about the building and all that kind of stuff. You know, we like to keep everybody safe. But isn't it nice to be at a live music event? I don't know how long it's been for some of y'all, but it's been a minute for me, and I'm happy to be here. And thank you, Ed and Brett, for giving us a good reason to get together. We love you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, something special from Kentucky Thunder. Shines bright on my
Sheila, Vicky, Jonell, and of course, Etta, Make Up Kentucky Thunder, and sometimes Lisa Oliver Gray, I think, gets in there sometimes. Anyway, from the fine state just north of Tennessee, Kentucky Thunder, ladies and gentlemen, helping us out there. Our next artist of the evening is a gentleman that I have played a lot of on WMOT Roots Radio, and it always brings a smile to my face. He's been on many, many Delbert cruises, toured all over the world, and he's an amazing writer and artist both. Please put your hands together for Seth Walker. Good evening. How you doing? All right? Man. Let's see if I remember how this guitar goes. Six strings, they tell me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure to be with you this evening. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. 
wild apple trees blooming all around. I must be in a good place now. Sunshine coming through a rainbow colored sky. Paints pretty pictures in my mind. Oh, what a good day to go fishing and catch the sunset through the hills and dream of my yesterdays and tomorrows and hope that you'll be I saw a butterfly, and I named it after you. Your name has such a pleasant sound. And love is all around, and all I see is you. I must be in a good place. Oh, what a good day to go fishing, y'all. And catch the sunset through the hills. And dream of my yesterdays and tomorrows. And hope that you'll be with me. I saw a butterfly and I named it after you. Your name has such a pleasant sound. And love is all around and, and all I see is you. I must be in a good place now. I do by Levi. I must be in a good place now. I do believe I am. There's some love in here this evening. Thank you. Darkness came over me, came over me, and I got to lay down. And the devil put the tempt in me, put the tempt in me, yeah. 
and I got a little And I'm washing up my hands in the sanctified water Washing up my hands again I'm washing up my hands in the sanctified water Washing up my hands in the river of faith It's a very thank you. inside of me, oh. inside of me. We all got to live out to worship a higher love. Washing up my hands in the sanctified water, washing up my hands again. Washing up my hands in the sanctified water, washing up my hands in the river of faith. Yes, in the river. Whichever way you're headed, we all got to have just a little, just a little, just a little, little faith. Are you with me on that? Are you with me on that? Thanks for listening, folks. We love you, Ed Britt. My name is Seth Walker. Enjoyed it. Thank you. Do one more. One more. One more little one. You got to run me off. You're going to run me out of here. I love it. Thank you.
It'll seem like an old friend can leave you like an orphan in the cold. Well, I've done the hurting. There were times I've been untrue. And I've had my share of being played a fool. Baby, I understand. Things don't always go to plan the way you wish they would. But when that cold wind starts to blow, when you're all by yourself alone, call my name and I'll come running, sun shine. Call out my name. Well, take all your regrets, take all of your shame, take everything you ever done, even the hate. Try a little forgiveness, and you might see yourself in a brand new light. But when that cold wind starts to blow, you never got to be alone. Call my name, and I'll come running. Sun, shine, or rain, I'll be there wherever you are, ever you are, ever you are. Just call out my name. Just call my name. the rest of your evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Seth Walker. Thanks for listening. Love you much. Take care of yourself. Love you, Adam Ritt.
Good night, everybody. Peace and love. Stay healthy. All right. Thank you. Hey, you got to go, man. You got to go. Seth Walker, everybody. How about that? Not only is he one of the coolest cats around town, he has put together a signed gift box that is available in the auction. So if you dug that, go back there and sign up. Take some home with you, and all the proceeds go to help out Miss Etta. How easy is that? So we're going to take a few minutes and talk auction because I've not let you know all the cool stuff that's back there. Do we have, by chance, any Delbert McClinton fans in the house? One or two? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Well, there's a Delbert McClinton gift bag, CDs, T-shirts, vinyl records, etc. back there. So keep that in mind. Anybody been to a little place? Uh, one of Ed's favorites uh, over there off Highway 100? I think there's one in Cool Springs, but it's not really the real, it's not, not my favorite. I like the original. Sperry's. Anybody been to Sperry's? <laughs> Love Sperry's. Green goddess dressing, always. Uh, <laughs> gift cards, chocolate, music, and wine in that box. Very, very cool combination. Uh, Jeff Ruby's has got a $100 gift card, chocolate, music, and wine back there. Uh, now, here's something really special, Okay. Do you know who Hadley Green is? <laughs> Hadley Green, yeah. She's an up-and-comer, for sure, an artist extraordinaire. And she has donated some original artwork that is back there. And in case you don't know, there is a family connection. Yes, this is Etta's granddaughter, Hadley Green. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Hadley. Very cool. There is some handwritten Tulsa Time lyrics by Mr. Danny Flowers framed back there. You want to spend a little time living on Tulsa Time, then that'll do you good. Uh, Mary Frances hand braided guitar, hand beaded guitar purse is back there. And if I could have Miss Angie's assistance, here she comes. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Angie. What we have for auction here was donated uh, and designed by Mr. Mike Zito. It is a Make Blues Not War Tele replica guitar, uh, 50s style Tele. And uh, it, you can see it is signed, not by everybody yet, so you won't get this right now. We'll give it at the end of the night when everybody signed it. But everybody signed it. You got Derek St. Holmes, you got Ian, you got Mike Zito, everybody, Pat McLaughlin, they're all on here. That is up for grabs as well. So that's our auction items tonight. Please give and, and bid and bid more and tip your waiters and waitresses and bartenders and have a good time. Okay? Good? All right. We're going to take a few minutes, get the band back up, and get everything reset, and then we've got a special surprise for you, so don't go anywhere. Back in a minute. Jokes, but they're terrible. I'll, I'm on. I'm on after that. Band ready? Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to take a quick minute and introduce the band to you tonight. If you would, please put your hands together for Lynn Williams beating the drums back there. Mr. Greg Forsman playing guitar. Got Tommy McDonald playing bass. And Lewis Stevens on the keys.
And our next artist is a very, very uh, significant rock and blues man in his own right. It's been a uh, lot of years on the road with an old Amboy Duke. Wrote a lot of hits for that Amboy Duke. And he's uh, made the most of Motor City and Music City. Even been known to kick around with Brad Whitford every now and then, that old scallywag. All right, well, let's, let's rock it up a little bit. Y'all want to rock it up a little bit? Kind of shake the dust off? I think they're ready. The bigger question is, are you ready? I saw this man in Ryman Auditorium about 2014, and I was that kid banging his head on the front of the Ryman stage. I do believe security called me to the side a couple times, but I kept working my way back up. It was, it was a night to remember. Without further ado, shall we give a big round of applause to Mr. Derek St. Holmes.
get higher Some people want to start low Some people going to die someday I got news, you never got to go
Thank you so much. All right, I hope Ed is watching this. Give her a little rock and roll. Make her feel good. All right, I think we got two more, maybe, yeah, something like that. This is something that I wrote for Ted Nugent. This is his first hit. This is um, uh, called Hey Baby. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys there are tearing it up right here. Woo! All right. Oh, we got time for one more? One more. Okay. Are we all having fun? Yeah. All right, good. All right, great. All righty. Uh, this is going to be a little impromptu because we just had it set up for three songs, so.
very much. Thank you, Mr. Derek St. Holmes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Had to, had to liven it up a little bit to get it rocking in here. He's good at it, too. Got to love it. Derek St. Holmes, everybody. All right, so we're going to get the stage reset and cleaned up and all that stuff. We've got robot ultraviolet stuff going on to make sure the cooties are all gotten rid of for the next band comes on. Actually, same band, next artist comes on. But listen, um, one thing I want to mention to you, it's the time of year where things like tax returns come around, <laughs> stimulus money might come your way, you know, maybe somebody just donates you money you weren't expecting for some reason. If that so happens, keep in mind, Miss Etta Britt has a GoFundMe page. So slide a few buckaroos over there, and that'll help her get back on her feet, and that would be very much appreciated. All right? Sound good? All right. Love Etta. She's awesome. All right. We have a surprise now for you, another Kentucky girl coming to the stage. She is something else. She came down years ago and has really gotten intertwined with Will Kimbrough and Tommy Womack, and she's awesome. She shows up to all kinds of stuff and uh, performing just amazing. If you would, please put your hands together for Miss Lisa Oliver Gray. There we are. Yes. Anna, I love you. We've been on so many stages together and had so much fun. And who knew that being 20, well, 10 to 20 feet from stardom would actually be a great thing. And now, now we've, we've got that going on. And I want you all to give it up for my opening acts tonight. They were all fantastic. So here we go. This is our message. Love you, Ed.
everybody stand up. Oh, it's good, good, good. Say I love you, 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 I love you. Talk to me, darling. Talk to me, Perfect. What a band. Woo! My lucky night. Feels so good, doesn't it, to be out listening to some music for a wonderful person and a wonderful family. Thanks for inviting me. My name's Lisa. This is for Well, uh, we had a couple of acts drop out. Uh, one had a fever, one had something else. And so I'm going to do a couple of songs.
Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, you get by. If you smile through the tears and fall, <laughs> smile it may be tomorrow. You see the sun come shining through for you. Light up your face with gladness. Hide every trace of sadness. Although a tear may be ever so near, that's the time. You must keep on trying Smile, what's the use in crying? You find that life is still worthwhile If you just smile Usually this is where Etta whistles Love those old uplifting songs. And here's another one. Uh, what's the name of this song? Oh, yeah. I see trees green, red roses too. I see blue for me and you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue. Days and dark, sacred night, and I think to myself. more than I could ever hope to know. 
And I think to myself What a wonderful world I think to myself What a wonderful world Love you. Hey, I want to thank uh, want to thank Ron, Ron Bryce for letting us uh, have this here, and all of the staff here. Please take care of them. Everybody would really appreciate it. Love you. How about it for Bob Brett, <laughs> cancer survivor? Showing us how it's done. Once again, I don't want you to forget about the auction. That guitar is hot, hot, hot. And it is, people are signing up right and left. So be sure and put your name on there if you want to take that sucker home. <laughs> Lots of cool stuff back there. So don't hesitate to go back there and take a look at it. All right, so as Bob mentioned, we've had some changes in schedules. Some people have made it. Some people have not made it. And, you know, that's kind of how it is in the days of COVID. But we're happy you're here. I'm happy to be here. We're happy Edda's at home recovering. Hi, Edda. Please recover and do great. We know you got this. You're strong. But we got a real treat for you right now. This, this lady, I mean, she ruled Printer's Alley for so many years. She'd been on the, she'd been on the stage of American Idol, and they all praised her for all the cool stuff that she did. But ladies and gentlemen, she is here tonight to rock your world. We're going to have a good time. Please put your hands together for Miss Jackie Wilson. <laughs> Hey, everybody. What an amazing night for an amazing woman. My second, third, fourth mother, second mother, um, best friend, uh, singing partner. Etta, I love you. Um, I just need to say a little something. Y'all can start it if you want to. Um, so, you know, Etta and I talk a lot, and... Um, before all this cancer stuff had come up. You know, we were talking about loving ourselves more and putting ourselves first. Ain't that right, ladies and gentlemen and gentlemen? And uh, I thought tonight this song would be fitting because since she's been going through this, she's definitely been loving herself extra than she did before.
time to love ourselves. Make some noise for Anna Britt, y'all. Loving herself through the hardest time of her life. Second hardest time of her life, because she went through it with this one. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's a newer one. But uh, Etta, I know you like that one. And, uh, but this, this next song, I, when Gina called and said, Jackie, will you be a part of tonight? I'm like, duh. Um, <laughs> this was the first song that came to mind, and it's one of Etta's favorites. And I talked to her earlier, and she's like, don't tell me, don't tell me. And I said, well, it's one of your favorites. She's like, I think I know what it is. But, um, you know, the only way she could get through this time is, you know, the best doctor in the whole wide world. And that is named Dr. Jesus. So here we go. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. If you got a sickness and your high looks dark, like throws you a curveball and you're falling apart. Let me tell you about a doctor, got no degrees on his wall. He's in the healing business and he's always on call. It's Dr. Jesus. That's Dr. Jesus.
Thank y'all so much. Let's hear it for Jackie Wilson. Miss Jackie Wilson tearing it up. All right, all right, all right. Did you guys go to bed? Did you guys go back in bed? All right, all right. Glad to hear it. What'd you get? Did you get something good? You don't know yet, do you? All right, well, it's still open back there. All right, we have another artist coming up to the stage now. He has just walked into the door, so we're going to give him a minute to catch his breath. Literally just walked in the door. That's how we roll. Yeah, so uh, it's been a long time since I've been on this stage. I used to get on this stage every week. The Finally Friday show, every Friday at WMOT Roots Radio. We'd come up, and bands would play, and we'd talk about them and interview them. And it was a big, fun time. And then we all got shut down. And you know what? I got to say, I'm really impressed with our venues here in Nashville, Tennessee. They have been through hell, literal hell, to try to stay alive. And they're finding ways. They're finding ways to do it. And it makes me very happy that they are still here. And I hope that, uh, you know, it looks like there's a light at the end of the tunnel, right? Like maybe we've turned that curve. We've gone over the top of the mountain. So hopefully... Things are going to be smooth sailing from now on. Well, all right. I don't have any big stories to tell. Greg, you got any stories to tell? How you been, man? You been good? Life out there in Pegram okay? You doing all right? All right. All right. That's good. You want to do some hammerheads? You want to do some hammerheads? <laughs> no. Let's not do that. All right. How we doing back there? Is he, is he, looking, is he, is he, is he good? Are you ready? I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Be right back. I'm going to lay my eyes on him and make sure he's, he's feeling it. Let's see if he's back here. I'm talking to everybody out there and telling them that you're here. You look like you're here. There he is right there. All right. He's tuning it up. He's coming out. Right behind me. Well, sort of behind me. All right, he's coming. Y'all just went backstage. Y'all like that? That's that fun. Hey, I wonder what Etta Brett's doing right now. Etta Brett, what are you doing right now? You hanging, hanging out with Hannah? What's going on over there in Dixon? Y'all having a good time? Well, we miss you. Everybody say, we love you, Etta. All right. Feeling it up here. All right, so the next gentleman coming to the stage has won every award. Like, I printed out the bio, and it was like, here's five pages of the awards that he's won. Like, it's like, what hasn't he won? He's won everything. All right, we're going to see if we can get him to the stage right now. I'm feeling pretty good about it, and I'm kind of running out of things to say. So let's, let's do this now. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. Mr. Jeffrey Steele. I have just been told, here's a bit of information for you that if you would like to use your credit card for the auction items, is that right? PayPal, Venmo, GoFundMe, any of these things, Miss Angie will be standing back there by the stuff. And she can take that, she can take that too. All right? Look, there he is. 
It's Jeffrey Steele. He's going to play some songs for us. And for Ed. Jeffrey, I'm wonderful. How are you? I was, I was trying to give you a plug, Jason, a plug on the sound. Come on. All right, what a uh, great looking bunch out here, jeez. Glad you're all here for Etta and Bob, yeah? Two wonderful people. Look who's in the front, Wendell Moore. Bettina, who's the hot chick with you? Stephanie, or Heifer. That's my wife. Her name's, her name's Steffi. I call her Steffer the Heifer. Everybody goes, why do you call her that? Steffer the Heifer. Back in the 70s, she had a CB radio, and that was her handle, Steffer the Heifer. True story? All right. Are you ready? It's a song I wrote uh, with a buddy of mine named Davis Nash, and um, I wrote it about five years ago and um, put it in the hands of Eric Church, and he heard it, and he said, man, this song's going on my new album, and uh, I couldn't believe it, you know, because I'm, I'm kind of like in the old folks' home for songwriting, so it was nice to be, you know, stand up again. Oh, that's me. Hey, yeah. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yeah. This is, make some noise. Come on. Yeah. Take me on up to Detroit City. Jail's full, factory's empty. Mama's crying, young boys down under that red, white, and blue still flying. Drop me off in Baltimore. Where every other window got a plywood board And dreams become drugs and guns And the only way out is to shoot or run Stick that in your country song Take that one to number one Get the whole world singing along, y'all Stick that in your country song Fifty 
before. He lost a friend beside his hand. He's got a baby girl he'll never see again. Stick that in your country song. Take that one to number one. And get the whole world singing along, y'all. Stick that in your country song. That in your damn country song. I played that song for everybody in Nashville five years ago. They go, no, 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 we can't. We can't do that. It's going to make people mad. Isn't that what we're trying to do? This, I mean, on the other end, you know, the business end. Feeling all right? I'm feeling good myself. All right, well, um, geez, y'all, I hope this, this is about as good a tune as that one is. You got me there, Jason? I'm a, oh, oh, yeah, plug a cord. Oh, I see. It's, sorry, it's my first gig. To plug a cord in. All right, so um, those of you, I was here a couple weeks ago. So if anybody was at that show, I know you guys were here. So 
Um, I heard this joke. <laughs> I heard this joke though. This uh, pirate is—you know—he's on on a pirate ship, right? And he's uh, he's up in the crow's nest, and he sees a ship coming on the horizon, battleship. So he climbs down, you know, to tell the uh, to tell the captain. He says, "You know, we got a, there's a ship coming at us. It looks like there's going to be a a fight." He he says, uh, "What do you want me to do?" He goes, uh, "He goes." Well, you know, he looks out and he says, "Get my red shirt." He says, "What? Get my red shirt if this turns into a battle and I get stabbed or something? I don't want my crew thinking I'm, you know, I don't want them to lose confidence, you know. So just get my red shirt." So he gets his red shirt. Pretty soon there's this big fight, and they win, and everything's fine, and they just like, you know, you, they go on. A couple weeks later, he's back up in the crow's nest, and uh, he comes down, and he goes, Captain, there's 10 ships coming. He looks with his binoculars out there, and he says, he says uh, do you want me to get your red shirt? And he goes, no, get my brown pants. Take the rain on the roof of this empty house That don't bother me I can take a few tears now and then And just let them out I'm not afraid to cry every once in a while Even though going on with you gone Still upsets me There are days every now and again I pretend I'm okay But that's not what gets me What hurts the most Was being so close And having so much to say Watching you walk away And never knowing What could have been Not seeing that love in you what I was trying to do It's hard to deal with the pain of losing you Everywhere I go But I'm doing it Hard to force that smile when I see our old friends and I'm alone. Still hard, getting up, getting dressed, living with this regret. But I know if I could do it over, I would trade, give away all the words that I saved in my heart that I left unspoken. What hurts the most? Was being so close and having so much to say, and watching you walk away, and never knowing what could have been, and not seeing that love.
Thank you all very much. Um, uh, we can do one more. Is it all right? Do one more. Um, I um, uh, I have to I have to get some. I, I forgot my it's in my guitar bag and I I'm sh Stepher the heifer. See, let me let while well, Stepher the heifer's running over there. I'm gonna tell you. Um. <laughs> She, she, uh, we've been married for 40 years this year. And, and, and wait, before you clap, we, we grew up in Hollywood. So that's even, right, right? Even more. More impossible. Uh, uh, and I used to play all these clubs on the Sunset Strip when I was a teenager, like Bizarri's and Roxy, or, or, not Roxy, um, the Whiskey and, uh, just all of them, man. And, and, uh. She followed me around. And I uh, wrote a lot of songs of all. Oh, that song by Rascal Flats these days, that's about her. That's about it is about growing up in LA on Doheny and Sunset and and somehow that ended up being a country song. Here's where we are now. Are you ready? Well, make some noise. Come on, come on. Come on, it's a party. God, I hope this is okay. I can't believe Lynn Williams is back. Lynn, how are you, man? God. I'm freaking out because I last time I saw you was on a session, probably, and I can't remember years, right? God, man. One of the best right there. Lynn Williams. Golly. So cool, man. Um, and the bass player looked familiar, too. I thought I knew him, but it turns out he says, no, I don't know you. 
never heard of him. Tommy Mack, man. Hey, we're coming in here to play. We got a gig. We, we, it's our sixth gig in, in a year and a half. We're on tour. Well, are you ready? Okay, so anyway, what I was getting at, you know, I grew up, I grew up in the 70s, late 60s and 70s, and, uh, um, you know, I was, I was that guy, you know. Down around the corner, half a mile from here, see the long train run, watch them disappear without... Come on, sing the weird part, come on. Without uh, oh, that was my deal, you know, as I was playing. And and uh, you know, I was like I was like nine years old and my I was the AM radio was on and, and, and I was the youngest of five kids, so I sat in between my mom and dad and man I manned the Philco. I was pushing the buttons on the Philco and my dad quit hitting them buttons. You know, he was on the country station, I'd hit it. Turn on KHJ. Trying to set the night on fire. Right? You know? I was like, I was like nine. My parents were like, ah, this kid, man, something wrong with him, you know? I sent him to Nashville. <laughs> So anyway, so, so my dad kept saying, son, you need to listen to country music. I said, dad, country music sucks. And, and he goes, I'm telling you, you got to put on Johnny Cash. You got to put on Chris Christopherson. You got to learn how to write some shit, you know, and you got to learn how to do it. You got to quit listening to that rock. <laughs> so so I, I stumbled onto a Merle Haggard record when I was in my late teens, and I fell in love. And, and, and so anyway... I'm, I'm, I'm making a long story. I don't know why, but in case, I mean, I've, I've told this story a zillion times. But anyway, so I started to become my music. You know, I, I was a rock and roller, you know, but I love country music. So I was writing these, I was taking these rock things and country things, you know. So I got to Nashville and they just looked at me and went, you know, no effing way, dude. You're, what, you're crazy, you know. There's never going to be a song. I remember I played a song called Hell Yeah for a record guy. He goes, there's never going to be a song on the radio called Hell Yeah. I don't know where he's working now. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying, don't let anybody tell you what's right. Only you know what's right. Do what you love. Love what you do. Be your own critic, you know, because um, everybody's a critic. And, and so anyway, so I just set that up when I say that, when I sing this song all the time, because uh, they, when I played this song, I played this song around for years when I came to Nashville in the 90s, and I wrote it with Bob DiPiro, and everybody said, it's never going to get recorded. And I'll never forget, classic day, I was driving through Green Hills coming into Nashville to write a song, and there was this girl pounding on her dashboard singing a song at the red light, and I was looking at her, because that's what I do, I'm a songwriter, I just like stand there and stare at people, like, what are they doing? I go write a song about that, you know? And... um. She's bobbing her head, so I start spinning the wheel on the dial, you know, and, and I find the song, and it's this song. She's singing my song that was never going to be on the radio. Not that it matters, but I, all I'm just saying again, like, if, if you, whatever your music is, man, do it and just love it, and don't let the filters filter you, all right? Okay? Anyway, so can I get some help on this one? So this is my tribute to that. <laughs> Well, my baby's leaving. Whoop, wrong way. I'm going up the country. 
that factored in over the years. Highest climb, highest mountain I ever run through the field only to be with you. Let me hear it. But I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Come on, sing it one time.
meet the new boss. Same as the old boss.
to be and now she Yeah, she's gone. How about Mr. Jeffrey Steele, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, lay cow, what a way to close us out tonight. Hey, I sure hope your favorite artists played tonight, and if they didn't, wish them well. We wish they'd have been here tonight, but whatever circumstances were, they couldn't be here. We love them nonetheless. And a big thank you for all of you coming out and being a part of this very special night. Let's hear it for Etta Britt one more time. Maybe not one more time, but at least let's do it again. No Bob Britt playing the strings. He's a true inspiration, let me tell you. All right, so we got some updates on the auction. If you uh, bid on something, we're about to let you know if you're a winner. If you are a winner of the auction, we want you to go back to the back of the room, and Hannah and, and Angie are back there, and they'll take care of your payment. And we very much appreciate your, act, your being a part of this. So here we go. The first one is, oh, it's the Hadley Green original painting. So sweet. All right. Coming in at a whopping $350. The high bid goes to Riley Gallagher. Congratulations, Riley. What's our next auction item here? the Mary Frances hand beaded purse. $250 going to Miss Etta Brett for, for Tim Minion. Minion. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'll give you that one. You take that one. All right. Here we go. Seth Walker. How about Seth Walker tonight? Man, that guy is awesome. Well, y'all liked it because you paid $225 for that package going to Miss Etta Bread. And again, Tim Menye. Way to go, Tim. All right. The Kentucky Thunder frame poster, $40, goes to Cassie Booten. Did I get that right? Boozin? Cassie Booty. All right. Cassie Booty, thank you very much. Cassie Booty, I like it. The Devil McClinton gift bag, oh my goodness, T-shirts, vinyl albums, signed CDs, and a copy of the book Delbert McClinton. I assume that's a book. It says one copy of Delbert McClinton. I don't think we got cloning down well enough, but if I could get a Delbert McClinton clone to hang out with me, I would pay more than $240. But nonetheless, $240 goes to Marissa Pollock. Way to go, Marissa. Congratulations. Let's see what else we got here. All right, the $100 Sperry's gift card with the cherry pie, Pinot Noir, the Sinclair chocolate, and the Danny Flower CD. Made at $175. Somebody bid $225, and that goes to Haley Trussell. Way to go, Haley Trussell. Thank you so much for supporting the cause. All right. The Jeff Ruby's gift card and more. This includes the Pinot Noir, Cherry Pop, Sinclair Chocolate, and a Danny Flower CD. That goes to Stephanie Cohen for $250. She is a big winner tonight because she also takes home the Danny Flower's lyrics for Tulsa Time, handwritten, signed, and framed. Five hundred and ten dollars. 
going to the Edibrit Fund. And is this it? And the big one. The guitar signed by tonight's artist. The Mike Zito version of the 50s Telecaster. Make blues, not war guitars. Ladies and gentlemen, owned, designed, and donated by Mike Zito. Are we good? Just making sure. Just making sure. I know. I got you. Holy moly, at $1,400, our winner is none other than Kathy Bomar. I do expect to see Andy T playing that telly one of these days soon. Thank you. All right. That's our auction. Folks, that's our night. Thank you so much for coming out. Don't forget, there's a GoFundMe for Ed Up. You didn't win an auction item, please give. And I hope to see you at the next Ed Brick concert right here on this stage. How about that? All right. Hey, big thanks to all the artists that performed tonight. Derek St. Holmes, Seth Walker, the Howlin' Brothers, Miss Jackie Wilson, Jeffrey Steele, Derek St. Holmes. What a night. It was awesome. Guys, have a great night. Thank you, Third and Lindsley. Thank you, Gina Hughes. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time.